else would Israel understand the Lord? You'll know when the Lord's speaking because when you hear it, you're like, oh, shoot. He's speaking this, he's speaking that. Oh, shoot, that's, that's the Lord. And the Lord is not going to always say things that's going to be that's going to be smooth to you, man. If he feel like something that's going to be a problem in ministry or what will be a problem when it comes down to kingdom, you know, okay? He, he going to, you know what I'm saying? He, he, hey, man, he's going to cause you to uh, to go up in the uproar where he, his spirit going to depart from you and he going to allow the evil spirit to be settled. Like how he did with King Saul. Um, Deuteronomy chapter um, uh, um, eight and verse twenty. Cause remember, Moses was the one that was speaking, and this is what people don't get. You had people during the time with with Moses, like Miriam and Aaron, but it was primarily Miriam, and they were speaking in a way as against um, of being against Moses. Like they did, and they looked at it like basically like why do the Lord gotta be with him? Why do the Lord got to speak to us through him? And, and why did you got to think what made him to get to a point in thinking like that? Because they, they were being fleshly in their way of uh, dealing with Moses. And not only that, they were fleshly in their approach as they were dealing with Moses. But if you look at the overall picture... Moses was at a, in a place of trying to help them like how a shepherd is unto the sheep mm. to stay close to the voice of the Lord. 